Hello beautiful souls. We're going to play with wax today. I will share how I use crayons, hot glue. I even used scrapbooking paper or designer paper and alcohol markers. These metal sealing wax was sent to me by Craspire along with the metallic markers. So I did receive five. I've actually used pearl crayons. You can also use regular crayons. These were, or these are all white. And these right here are all pink. So if you don't have wax on hand or you finished your wax, you can also use crayons. And with the crayons, I would seal them. But I actually mixed the pearl crayons with sealing wax. This is a white color sealing wax. So I, I mixed it so it doesn't really um, color. So this is the pearl crayons. Um, and a little goes a long way. You do not need a lot because it's very saturated. So one crayon is going to last you for a while. And I'm using certain colors because you already know I love the shabby, chic, Victorian pastel colors. So it's, I'm going to put another, I'm going to put another one. So, so that's five all together. So while that's melting, I bought these silicone mats. I guess they're used as coasters. Um, I saw my friend Ida from Created to Create haul these. Um, and I ended up purchasing them. This is melted wax. And I want to show you these colors on here. This here, and of course they're going to show up different when you have different color wax. So don't, you know, this is not absolute. Um, this is a pretty blue. I already put this blue down. Look how pretty that is. And it is metallic. And these colors are like really dark. So they are not my favorite. But if you like them, by all means, knock yourself out. This is supposed to be like a pink, but it's not. It's more like a brick red, if anything. Then there's this color. I don't even know what this color is. And they don't, they don't have... The names to it on written down on it this is a dark green color and they have this purple that one is okay it's still a little too dark for me then they have this other green color this is probably a light yeah this is more like a, like a jade color jade or sage color then they have I guess I can try this one. I don't even know what this one is. I guess that's supposed to be a gold that looks more antique-ish. Here's another one. That one looks brown to me. Then there's this color. But that's a dark gray. And then this one is a silver. And then this one I tested out. This has no color, none whatsoever. So I don't even know why this is here. I have no clue. When I tried it on the clay, it had no color. It kind of looks like a, like a dusty blue. But there are the colors that come in that pack if you're interested. I will also have a coupon code linked. And all that I used here will be linked in. Okay, this is ready to go. I'm going to mix it a little bit, so I will, I will be using this. And I don't want to mix it too much because I do like where it looks like. Um... Okay, so, and my friend Ida gave me this tip where she says you do a puddle in the middle because she had trial and error <laughs> and because she had an oval um, wax stamp, metal stamp. And then you do something like that and then you place your
metal wax seal stamp your metal stamp okay and I do like to clean this off because you know it will get dark and um, it'll create soot on the bottom these had really bad soot on them and as you can see they it can be cleaned I use oops I'm not even on uh, in view so these these had really bad soot on them and what I did was I used you know like um, Comet you can use Ajax you can use um, the no name brand of that particular cleaning product it's pretty much all the same right and I took a scouring pad and you know I put hot water and I kept scrubbing and scrubbing scrubbing and it came out it came out so I still have wax in these okay I think this should be ready yeah look how pretty that is so so pretty as a matter of fact I'm gonna leave it here so you can see it and then you can't really see the image until you color it in with the if you're gonna use these to color it in um, I'm actually gonna use the lighter green I mostly as you can see I mostly like to use a gold leafing pen I just wanted to give these a try and if you like the colors you know you can always pick it up okay so there it is um, this doesn't really stand out that much but this is what she actually looks like so pretty it's my favorite now we're gonna use hot glue and scrapbooking paper for that I'm gonna use this one that says um, for you so you take your hot glue and a bit of a tip um, I used this one at first and this one has a fine tip it's gonna take forever to squish out all that glue it's the reason it's the reason why it's a fine tip it's for fine details right well this one is the same as this one but the tip broke on me because you know they don't make these to last and god forbid it falls it's gonna break because that's what happened to me hopefully it doesn't to you if you have the same one um so the the nozzle became wider so i'm able to use this one here okay and because this is silicone it's not gonna stick and what I also did was I, I used this, traced around it, and then created a template. And from that, I traced it on designer paper. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to add our glue within that paper. And this keeps it nice and oval too, by the way. So if you have trouble um, creating the oval with the hot with the with the wax seal, this is this is a guide that you can use, especially if you're gonna you know glue your your wax seal embellishment. If you're gonna make an embellishment out of it and you're gonna glue it okay this one didn't come out so good but that's okay um, your wax seal as an embellishment and you're gonna just um, glue it to something then just put a piece of uh, the oval and then you, you, you can have it you know it's not gonna be perfect perfect but you can have it close enough like this here you know this was without the paper so it took me qu quite a bit of tries you know to, to get this down pat um, but this one here I used the paper so that came out pretty nice and another tip um, if you're gonna use a scrapbooking paper if you're gonna take this idea I suggest using really dark colors because it becomes um, like faded and it's pretty because I do like the pastel light colors like this one here it's really light this one is a blue color 
and then this one was like the paper that I just used you can see this one a little bit more because it was darker okay if it'll allow me to if it'll allow to focus all right there it is I think yeah there it is you see you can see it more uh, because I used a darker paper okay but if you like the light colors you know you can use your light um, designer paper or scrapbooking paper it does stick a little bit because it's hot glue oh yeah it came out you, you see how much you can see the darker you could even see part of the image come on you know what I need to get a piece of paper okay see it's more brighter and then you go ahead and color this um, I'm gonna color this with the gold I'm not gonna do it here but yeah that's how you do that and then I'm also, go I'm also going to show you how to use alcohol markers so the, for this one I'm gonna use the bunny it's a pretty little bunny here okay um, hot glue again I'm not gonna use any guide for this one so I'm just gonna do the best I can because sometimes I don't always get it right either okay this is not pushing through come on yeah I do much better when I'm not on camera so I'm gonna do the best I can but I'm just gonna show you as an example I could always melt that again if I don't like it that might not be so bad okay so I'm gonna get ready to um, peel this off and here I did went ahead and add the gold pretty okay let's dismount this okay so we're gonna turn this over and I'm going to use Robin's egg blue this is Copic markers marker and it's alcohol based and you have to use a dark color because it doesn't come on really really dark and the light ones don't show up barely so there you have it colored it has a hint but when you put it on something white you can see the color see and then you're gonna color your image so that you can see them um, I'm actually gonna use this blue since I used this blue here that come in that set to see how that will look So this is blue on blue monochrome one is just more vibrant than the other yeah and I do like to go around the edges with gold when I'm using the hot glue one like these so As a matter of fact, let me just put it right here. That's a cute bunny. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so there you have it. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to come back with another video um, with projects that I made with using these. And I will do a project together. I'm just going to do one. So it will have just the one tutorial. And then look at this one I absolutely love because it has it's like a mint green it looks more mint green in person but it has a teal color in the camera that's using the alcohol marker okay so again thank you Craspire for sending me all these beautiful metal stamps so let's share be fair be filled with love and love one another take good care everybody